What's going on everybody? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Charlie Keen, and today we do have another Brilliant Star pre-release kit. These so far have been really, really good. I'm really intrigued what this second one's gonna bring us, um, especially just with the pre-release kit itself. I had a look through the last one and it did look like it was fun to play. Um, I didn't attend my local game store's pre-release event whilst they are available. Um, I had a small child to look after, so I couldn't. There we go. But they do still, well, my local game store does still make them available for home collection, which for me, I, I just think that's really, really awesome. Um, it keeps me playing and happy. And this one is a Bibbidel. So we'll get those out and take a look. Now, last time we did make just a little insertion up here to hopefully get into this. But this time it hasn't done anything. Yes, it has. Come on then. That is the only thing with these packs. They used to have them like cellophane where it would be easy to get into. This one is definitely not so much. Right then. What have we got in this one? Move that code card out of the way. So our Bibarel. It is an industrious in scissors. Once during your turn, you may draw cards until you have five cards in your hand. Um, obviously, it is a stage one, so you do evolve it from Bidoof, but that's uh, that's quite a nice way to do that. Is this going to be the same one as last time? No, nope, it's got fighting energy as well. Quite a lot of energy. Interesting. So we have an Ultra Ball. Ultra Ball is back. You can use this card only if you discard two other cards from your hand. Search a deck for a Pokemon, reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your deck. It's an item card, so you can use as many of those uh, item cards as you like during your turn. But you do have to discard two cards. Don't know how I feel about that. I'm sure people will play it. Uh, Professor Rowan is your, your professor's research. Quite like that there's many of those. Gloria, we saw her last week. Not going to go through that one again. Energy Recycler. Shuffle up to five basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. So there's your answer to um, your Ultra Ball. Discard your energies. Find your Pokemon. That's nice and easy. Um, and five basic energy from your discard pile. Well, you can keep doing that. Rinse, recycle, repeat. That's cool. Cynthia's Ambition. We did see that last week as well. As all of those. Cast form. The ball Pokemon. Riolu with a Lucario there. Roaring Resolve. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on this Pokemon. If you do, search for your deck for a fighting energy and attach it to this Pokemon. And then you have discard all fighting energy from this Pokemon. This attack does 60 damage for each card you discarded in this way. Well, there we go. Attach, attach, attach. You'll be putting some uh, damage counters on it. You can get a bunch of energy, use your turn, then energy recycle to get the energy back in your deck. Rinse and repeat. Bidoof, Bibarel. So keep drawing those cards. And then your sun drenched shell again. Search for uh, that energy, leaf energy. That completely escaped my brain then. I quite like that again. There's, there's some really, really cool little pre-release decks. Very good, right. On to the main event. Don't have a Whimsicott again this week. Too shaming. Was it Whimsicott? No, it was, it was that one we didn't have last week. Anyway, start with the Too Shaming this week then. Can we get some more character rares? I really hope we can. There's some really, really awesome ones, including, uh, there's a, I think there's a Vaporeon and a Flareon that look pretty awesome. Ooh, Leaf Energy? Hey, it's metal again. That's what we started with last week, right? Gloria, Starmie, fresh water set, stay hydrated. Staryu, Carablast, there's one that we haven't seen before. Ah, a little Clefairy. What is going on there? He's got like one tooth. Or is that supposed to be his mouth? Looks like a demonic baby child with one tooth. Cherubi, that's a cute Pokemon, I like that one. Sork, wow. That. <laughs> It's quite awesome. Done by Shinji Kanda. Well, Shinji, that is some cool ass artwork. Congratulations, buddy. Cast form, reverse holographic, and a Drogodon. Get out of here, Drogodon. Really interesting. Okay, one, two, three, four. Dark energy. Leaf. 
Roseanne's Backup. Christ, it's an essay. What have we got here? Choose one or more. Shuffle a Pokemon from your discard pile into your deck. Shuffle a Pokemon tool card from your discard pile into your deck. Shuffle a stadium card. Shuffle an energy card. Gives you quite a lot of options. Choose one or more. So you can do all of it. Even better. That will probably definitely see some play, I think. Floatzel. Choice belt. This attack does... Uh, of this Pokemon, this card is attached to 30 more damage to your opponent's active Pokemon V. Good. Get rid of Pokemon V. Piplup. Tuckwick. Sneasel. Clink. Spirit Tomb. Chimeco. And a Torterra. Look at that. Yeah, buddy. Nice holographic hit there. Torterra is cool. As Pokemon go, it is a cool Pokemon. Into our third pack then. Will this pre-release kit give us more than the hollow? Come on. Dark energy. I said dark before, didn't I? Ultra Ball. Hit on top. Magma Basin. Once during each player's turn, that player may attach a fire energy from the discard pile to one of their benched fire Pokemon. If you do it though, two damage on that Pokemon. Minchino. It's like a pop-up version. Done by Mina Nikai. Carablast. Woozle. Howalucha. Throw. Morgrim. And a Moltres. Hollow. Yes. Two. So two good codes there. There's a good codes, the, these things here. What's the difference between them? It's the borders, right? Yeah, I think it's the borders. Moltres. Hello to you. The attack does. Seems alright. Ooh, might be something in here. Looks like it might be a V. Let's say fire, seeing as we've got Moltres. It's lightning. Do like that lightning energy. Cafe Master. Choose up to three of your benched Pokemon. For each of those Pokemon, search a deck for a different type of basic energy card and attach it to that Pokemon. Okay. Monferno. Gloria. Far fetched. That's a Kamoya artwork, right? Yes. He really does have a very unique way of doing art for Pokemon, and I'm all for it. That one is a particularly fine one. Even if it is slightly trippy. Duskull. I don't know what he's doing there. Was he looking out in the dark? Where's my home? Oh, my God, Grimer. He's coming for your children. Shinx. Bidoof. I literally hate Cup Chew, it's gross. And a Mimic UV with the Dummy Doll ability. When you play this Pokemon from your hand onto your bench during your turn, you may prevent all damage done to this Mimic UV attacks from your opponent's Pokemon until the end of your opponent's next turn. Ooh, I like that. Put three damage counters on your opponent's active Pokemon for each prize card your opponent has taken. Okay. Could be a little bit of a staller, quite like that. Well, there we go. Good pre-release deck. Got three hits. Can't grumble with that one. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Do be cool, be kind. We'll see you next week.